on June 2nd, 2006, after 16 days, I was able to hold my son where he died in my arms. With tears in her eyes, Anne-Marie Mullen talked about the death of her baby Shane when he was only three months old because of severe combined immunodeficiency, or SCID. When babies are born with SCID, they don't have any ability to fight infections. Uh, It's called combined immune deficiency because both the T cell and the B cell arms of the immune system are impaired or, or disabled. When babies have this condition, they develop infections starting from the very early months of life. Infections accumulate, and if they're not given a working immune defense system, they cannot survive. Until very recently, I worked in this hospital as a pediatrician providing parents uh, with uh, helping their newborns start a healthy life. And today, serving as an elected assembly member, I'm introducing a bill to give parents across the state peace of mind. AB 395 will add a fatal but treatable disease, severe combined immunodeficiency disease, sometimes known as the bubble boy disease, to the California newborn screening test. Treatment for SCID does exist, but it's essential that the baby is treated early. Anne Marie's other son, Kyle, was saved because he was diagnosed at birth. We were absolutely terrified we were going to lose Kyle. But we were transferred to UCSF, where Kyle, at 17 days old, had a transplant, bone marrow transplant from Shane's twin sister, Anya. When he was three weeks old, we went home and we have never looked back. Now Kyle is this healthy, happy three and a half year old boy. So it's our dream that no other babies is gonna die of this disease when it's obvious that it can be cured. California already has a pilot program in place for skid testing. Dr. Pan believes the time to make the program permanent is now. Since I began my career as a pediatrician almost two decades ago, data showed that this genetic disorder has taken or threatened the lives of hundreds of newborn babies here in California. And today we do have a cost-effective screening test that can lead to early treatment and to save lives. The California Department of Health program has shown that skid testing can not only save lives, it's also cost efficient. When Shane went to UCSF and he was placed on the ECMO machine, the bill for Shane's medical treatment was over a million dollars. The test that Kyle received was six dollars. So how many babies could be screened for that million dollars and how many lives could be saved? This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.